Atul ji, this video is for you. Let us write a simple Python program to implement bisection method. This is the first in the series of programs for numerical methods. This bisection method is used to solve transcendental equations. Transcendental equations. Equations may contain algebraic, trigonometric, trigonometric, logarithmic, and exponential terms. For example, equation can be e power minus x plus x cube minus log x plus tan 2x. Okay, or it may have combination of algebraic and logarithmic, combination of algorithm, uh, al uh, algebraic and and trigonometric also. Such equations, which are otherwise difficult to solve, can be solved using using our numerical methods. We come across such equations in engineering in many places, in many subjects, especially in design in machine design, in theory of machines, in strength of materials, we come across such algebraic equations whose root is to be solved. Now, let us proceed with the programming. We need a module called math. Let us import that. Let us read. Let us define the function whose roots are to be found out. And the function is e power minus x e power minus x minus x. Okay. Now the root lies between 0 and 1. Now let us read initial guesses x naught and x1 through the keyboard. The initial guess uh, is you need input statement. Let us have a prompt. Enter first initial guess. And let us convert this into float. Because by default, input is always a string. Similarly, read for x1. x1 is your second initial guess. You need two guesses. Assuming that the code is written, assuming that you know the procedure. Let us find out the relative error, absolute value of it. And this is a floating point value. So float absolute. So find out the difference between x1 and x0 and divide that by x1. Let us use x1 because x0 is 0. If this is greater than or equal to, let us also take n, which is number of digits to which you want number of digits say after decimal point. You can say this is relative accuracy. And this is integer. 
Okay, now, so accuracy you want is up to n digits. So formula of, formula for relative error is 0. 0.5 into 10 raised to minus n. Okay, now, if relative error is more than this, then the roots are not correct. Find out x2. What is x2? Average of x1 and x0. Let us use formatted print statement. Say 10 positions for each of the x1, x2, x3, sorry, x0, x1, x2. Here we print the titles. First is X naught, second is X1, and third is X2. Now, after finding out X2, let us print X naught, X1, X2, dedicating 10 positions each and four digits after decimal point. What are the values you are printing? You are printing the values of x0, x1, and x2. Next, if f of x0 into f of x2 is greater than 0, then both are on the same side. So, which one is closer to root? x2 is closer. So, replace x0 with x2. If they are on opposite sides, then x2 is closer to root than x1. Replace x1 with x2. That's it. And finally, we can print the root. We can print either x0 or x2 or x1 or x2, whatever it is. Again, take four positions of decimal point and print say x naught. Okay, that's it. I think there is some additional parenthesis which is not required. X one minus x naught by x one. enough initial guess maybe zero next is say one i want the root to be correct up to four digits one percentage sign is missing somewhere I think here. They should be they should take care of the problem. Okay, you can see here. So these are x0, x1, x2 values at every iteration. Started with 0, 1.5. Initially, x0 is replaced by x2. So point the root is between 0.51. The root is between 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 0 0.5, 0 0.625, 0 0.5625. Okay. And from here onwards, from here onwards, what is replaced? X1 is replaced. Now let us find root of another equation. This time, let us take a simple equation. A x square x square minus two. Okay. 
square minus 2 okay and the root lies between 1 and 2 because we know that correct up to four digits you can see here 1 and 2 root lies between 1.1 and 1.5 then 1.25 1 1.375 1.5 and then 1.4 okay so i hope you understand it you see how many iterations it took that's it atulji i hope you understand it this is first in the series i will come up with more videos for you and your students benefit for viewers and your students benefit thank you very much